ഹായ് ഗായ്സ് ലാസ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് എന്റെ ബർത്ത്ഡേ ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ കിട്ടിയതിന് എനിക്കൊരു ബർത്ത്ഡേ സർപ്രൈസ് തന്നു അതൊരു അൺഎക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് സർപ്രൈസ് ആയിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾ ട്വൽവ് അപ്പോസ്റ്റൽസിൽ പോയി ട്വൽവ് അപ്പോസ്റ്റൽസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ വിക്ടോറിയയിലെ തന്നെ ഒരു ഫേമസ് ടൂറിസ്റ്റ് ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ആണ് അവിടെ പോകുന്നു പറഞ്ഞായിരുന്നു പക്ഷേ ഹെലികോപ്റ്റർ റൈഡൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞില്ലായിരുന്നു അത് കിട്ടിയവൻ സർപ്രൈസ് ആയിട്ട് തന്നതാണ് അത് നല്ലൊരു എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആയിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾ മൂന്ന് പേരും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു നെയ്തനും ഭയങ്കര സന്തോഷത്തിലായിരുന്നു നെയ്തന് എക്സൈറ്റഡ് ആയിരുന്നു ഇതൊക്കെ കാണാൻ പിന്നെ നല്ലൊരു ട്രിപ്പായിരുന്നു നന്നായിട്ട് എൻജോയ് ചെയ്തു അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഈ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം So next up there is the town of Port Campbell. Port Campbell is home to around 600 permanent residents. Over the summertime though, the population does triple in size, as it is quite a popular holiday destination. How many residents? 600. Only 600 residents? Yeah, 600 residents of Port Campbell. This is Kaberga. Righty, so the next stretch of coastline here is called Two Mile Bay. And it's home to some of the best big wave surfing in the country. Alright, so just up ahead of us there and to the right guys, we do have the feature called The Arch, which does get its name because it does look just like an arch. It is large enough though that supposedly you could fly a small helicopter through there. And then as we come around the corner, we are going to be able to start to see the London Bridge. Now it is called the London Bridge because it was a double-spanned archway, just like the London Bridge. Unfortunately though, back in the year 1990, the span that did connect it to the land did fall down, which did leave a few people stranded out there. They were rescued though, and they were rescued by a helicopter of all things. Now the London Bridge is going to be the large heart-shaped rock coming up here on our right-hand side. I repeat, the London Bridge is going to be the large heart-shaped rock coming up here on our right-hand side. Welcome aboard. My name's Tom. I'll be your pilot today. Now, if you would like to speak today, make sure your microphones are nice and close to your mouth as they are voice activated. And on our way down to the London Bridge today, all the features are going to be at our right hand side. But don't worry, that is going to change. As we return, all the features are then going to be at our left hand side, so nobody will be missing out.
Alrighty, so the first of the number one apostle is the large and on our right hand side there with the grassy top. And all the features past that one are not part of the apostles, but they do all have their own unique names, which I'll point out as we go along. And we are going to have all the apostles all lined up in a row again once we come back down the coast. Alrighty, so coming up next is what we call Mutton Bird Island, and it's the larger one there with the grassy top. And it is home to the mutton bird or the shearwater bird. Now there's a colony of mutton birds that does migrate all the way from Alaska every single year just to be on that island. Alrighty, so next up is what we call the Baker's Oven, and it does look just like a piece of cake. It does, however, get its, get its name from the cutout at the bottom of it. It looks just like a Baker's Oven or a pizza oven. Alrighty, so next up is what we call Sentinel Rock. Now Sentinel Rock is the tallest rock formation in the area. It does stand at around 60 metres tall, which is around equivalent to the same height as a 20 storey building, so it's pretty tall. Alrighty, then as you can see, the London Bridge is now at our left hand side there. Now we can see the span that fell down back in 1990 that did connect the London Bridge back to the mainland. Now next up, just to our left here, this large row of cliffs, it is called the Lace Curtains. Alrighty, now coming up again on our left here guys is the town of Port Campbell. Now Port Campbell uh, was named after a man called Alexander Campbell. And he originally founded the town as a whaling town. But he did also used to use it as a port for trading goods between Victoria and Tasmania all the way back in the 1800s. Alrighty, so coming up again on our left is Sentinel Rock, which is the tall one there. And just after that, we do have the feature called Horseshoe Cove. Now, Horseshoe Cove does get its name because it is in the shape of a horseshoe. But there is actually a colony of penguins that does live in there. And we also have a colony of penguins living at the London Bridge and at the Apostles. That is why we aren't allowed down to those beaches anymore. Uh, 
There are total only seven and a half left. I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> Originally, there are 12. 12 are portals. Alrighty guys, so coming up again next here is the baker's oven. And after the baker's oven, the next large one here with the grassy top, that's Martin Bird Island. And it is shaped just like a question mark or a seahorse. And right where that meets the mainland, where the car park is, is the feature called the Lockard Gorge. Which does get its name from the ship called the Lockard, which ran aground there back in 1878. And after the Lockhart Gorge, you have the feature called the Razorback Ridge, followed by the Salt and Pepper Shakers and the Twin Sisters. And then we are coming back up to the Apostles, with the first of the number one Apostle being the larger one here with the grassy top. Now there was only ever eight Apostles, there was never twelve, but there's now only seven remaining, as one of them did fall down back in the year 2005. Now if we follow them along here, Apostle number two is the next one with the pointy top. Then we do have Apostles numbers three, four, five, and six, all quite close together. Number six being the smaller one there with the grassy top. And then the seventh and the final Apostle is the large one we can see that's just before the lookout. Now, after the pointy, we have two more features. They are not part of the Apostles, but they do have their own names, being Gog and Magog. And as we cross the coast, we are going to get a nice view of all the Apostles and the features all lined up in a row. That's the Gibson steps. Yeah, sure is. Only seven left. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for coming. Hope thank you had a good you, time. Thank you, thank You're very you. welcome. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Great Ocean Road Day, we see you in the next video. Bye!